Mine. Yes. So I've been to some other uh, places where they uh, have monuments of uh, of slavery past, and this is also, of course, one of the monuments that we have here in the Caribbean. And one of the things that I've encountered is that when I come to Bonaire and I come to this site, and they have a lot of buses here that the people, the tourists, they walk here, but they don't feel as if it's sacred ground. So I was wondering what Dr. Umar thinks of the fact that should we declare this sacred ground or do you think we should leave it open or what are your thoughts about this? Mm -hmm. I think it should be declared sacred ground. I think there should be some signs that give some of the history so people understand what happened here, that people died here, you know, and were enslaved here. I think uh, Probably a border might need to be put around it, but I think it needs to be developed just a little bit more so when people show up, they understand the significance and the seriousness mm -hmm. of what they are experiencing. So to some degree, I can't fault them but so much because the history is not being put in a way that makes them respect and honor it. So, you know, I think there should be some signs that tell the story that will give them a sense of understanding of what really happened here. I don't think they understand the full story, um, and I think we need to help them to do that. Okay. And it should probably be somebody on staff here, a regular tour guide, to explain and to protect what's here, because this is so open, anybody can come at any time and harm it and damage it. Mm -hmm. So there should be a security person, and it should also be a historical person to teach people about the heritage of the site.